Today, we are going to install Containerize AAP on a rail host. The first thing we are going to do is head to the access.redhat.com page and click on the subscriptions link. In here, we will click on the subscriptions allocation and create a new subscription allocation. Let's give it a name of Ansible Manifest and select the type of subscription asset manager 1.4. Then click on the Subscriptions tab, select the Add Subscriptions button. Within the Add Subscriptions page, search Ansible to add the Ansible Automation Platform subscription and give it the proper entitlements. Then head back to the Details tab and export your manifest. With the manifest now copied to my local environment, let's securely copy it to our RHEL 9 host. In this example, my RHEL 9 host resides within Amazon AWS and I'm using my private key, R Lopez key, as well as copying the Ansible manifest to the EC2 user's home directory. Next, I'll download a copy of the AAP 2.4 for RHEL 9, the containerized setup tar file. The link to access the page can be found within the description. With the AAP container I set up installer copied to my local environment, I'm going to securely copy it to my RHEL 9 host. Once again, I'm copying the installer to my RHEL 9 host that resides within my Amazon AWS using my private key, R Lopez key, as well as copying the installer to my EC2 user's home directory. This next step is completely optional, but it showcases that if you had your AAP configurations stored within a Git repository, you could apply your configurations at install time. This is great for development environments, wanting to mirror existing production setups, or even applying your configurations to what it will be newly installed production environments. Before we go further, let's do a quick recap of what we've done so far. We downloaded our Ansible manifest to apply our subscription to our installation. We download the AAP containerized setup tar. We copy both of these files to the RHEL 9 host and showed how you can use a Git repository for easily applying existing configurations to the AAP environment. Now with the prereqs in place, let's SSH into the RHEL 9 Amazon EC2 instance. Within the home directory, untar the Ansible containerized setup installer. Then let's install some packages that we need on the system. These packages include Ansible core, wget, git, and rsync. From there, let's export the Ansible collections path to the collections path of our setup collections installer directory. Then let's get into the setup directory. Once there, make a copy of the EC2 instance hostname as we will need it to fill out our inventory file. Within the inventory file, I'll use vim global substitution to switch out the fqdn of your rel host value into the hostname I copied to my clipboard. Then I'll do another Vim global substitution to set all the different required passwords to Red Hat. Of course, if you are doing this in production, I'd recommend setting a separate password file protected by Ansible Vault in order to avoid having your passwords in plain text. If you're planning on having AAP install and manage your database, make sure to uncomment the following database group and its values. To take advantage of our manifest file and Git repository YAML configurations, we need to enable the post install feature and set the following variables.
Lastly, we need to set the registry username and registry password to our accessredhat.com credentials. And this is for us to be able to install the AAP containerized images. With everything set in the inventory file, it's time to run our Ansible playbook to do the installation of AAP Containerize. This can take 5 to 15 minutes depending on the resources available on your system. Now it's time to check the installations of Automation Controller, Automation Hub, and Adventure of Ansible. First up is Automation Controller using its default port 443. Once logged in, we can see the Automation Controller dashboard. Within the Templates page, you can see the Demo Job Template 2 is available, which was part of the post-install setup in the inventory file. We can confirm the settings are correct by comparing it with the YAML file that exists within our Git repository. Another example is our projects. Doing another comparison, we can see the project details using the name AAP config as code examples matches what we have in our Git repository. Switching gears now to access our private automation hub, we can use our credentials to to log into the Automation Hub dashboard that defaults to port 444. As you can see, the install was successful. Lastly is our Event Driven Automation Controller dashboard. The default port to 445. Once logged in, we have a dashboard view of the EDA environment, which we can start to create projects and decision environments. And there you have it, a containerized AAP install with Automation Controller, Automation Hub, and Event Driven Ansible all in one place. For more videos like these, please be sure to like and subscribe. I'm your host, Roger Lopez. Until next time.